not a quiz. This is what your friend did last week. We are not going to repeat any quizzes. Go through the quizzes that your friends did just as a way of revising. I don't repeat any quizzes. So I'm not going to say anything. Alright, so using Caesar Cypher S yes, is 45, we keep the message. I know everyone can do that. Not so? Yes. Good. So if we can answer that one, then we are going to draw. But don't expect any similar question in the test. Message, a message tells you that, a messenger rather, tells you that the secret key for today is S is equal to 26. Should you trust a messenger? Should you trust a messenger? Yes or no? If yes or no, why? Yes? Mm -hmm. They used to find it. Okay? Okay. So now here's the thing. Have you gotten his explanation? Where is he? This gentleman. You did get him. So now. Okay. Uh, we are saying if you say the key S is 26. Now, we say if, if we get the examples, let's say the first one there, S is equal to 5. We said you count A, B, C, D, the fifth up to the fifth letter. You chop those letters out and put them where? In front. In front. You don't throw them down. You just chop them out and put them at the back. I don't know whether it's at the back. Put them at the front. But at the end. Okay? You put them at the end. Now, if you chop 26 letters from the alphabet and you put them at the end, what happens? Hello? I'm not getting it. Someone to Yes. Yes. What happens? You chop them. How many letters are there in the alphabet? 26. So you get all of them and chop them and put them at the end. So what happens? What happens? Yes. The letters are going to be They're going to be? The same. The same. So basically there is no encryption, not? Yes. And, and that's what I was looking for. If you say S is equal to 26, there is literally no encryption that has been done. So the cipher text will be the same as the clear text. How do you get it? Um, is there someone with you? No. no. You are attending this class for the first time. Okay. But have you gotten the expression? I saw her moving around. What happened? Your friend is very good. Yes.
the subscription samples that we just looked at. So what we are doing is this. Huh? We were maintaining the order of the message. Not so? But just substituting each letter for another letter. Not so. But maintaining the same order. How together? But in transposition, what we are doing is we are moving letters from one to the other. How do we get Okay, so we are kind of, uh, so I say we are reordering the, the clear message, but we are maintaining the letters. How do we get We are not replacing, we are not substituting the letters, we are just reordering them, but they are still there, they see them that these are the letters that have been used in the clear text, but we record that. How do we get in the substitution, we are substituting, we are maintaining the order, but substituting each letter for another letter. How are we together? Are we together? I'm slow. I'm not fast. Are we together? Yes, it's great. So, uh, one, two, three, four. In substitution, we are saying we get his name, okay, and give him a new name. How together? Maintain the position, we just give him a new name. A nickname, right? Mm -hmm. We go to this one. That's absolute. So that when someone comes, they'll say, ah, okay, I thought this was John, but he seems to have another name. So anyway, I, I don't know what it means, okay? But he's maintaining the position. In substitution, we tell this one, go that side with their names, real names. Come this side, this one comes in the middle, and they change positions. Are we together? So that is called, okay, transposition. Are we together? So we're just doing this. That's basically the opposite of uh, substitution. Okay, so now, one of the most common uh, transposition methods that are used are columnar transpositions, where we write the message in columns. Come here. We're using columnar transpositions. So we get the column, if it's a four by three, we all understand columns and rows. Okay, so how do we count? We say R by C. Not so. Yes. Okay. Huh? Yes. Row by Okay. How does it say? Okay. It's R by C. Not so. So yes. first of all, which ones are the rows? The rows are these. The columns are these. Not so. So it's important that you remember that simple mathematics. We're using it here. It's very basic. It's not complicated. Okay. So it's R by C. Now, if you look at that, Message. The one who did that message, or the one, the author of the message, gets the message and decides with the recipient on the uh, what? What do you call it? The order of matrix that they're using. Eh? Okay. So here they sat down and said, "Okay, my friend, uh, they can either decide on the order or they can decide on the key. So the key will give you an idea of." What kind of matrix are you using? Are you using a 3 by what or are you using a... Okay, so when you say 3 by 4, you know that 3 is R, right? 4 is columns, not? Okay, so that kind of mathematics, the grade 12, I don't know, 9, we started from grade 9, 12, we should be able to understand that, right? Okay, so now let's look at that simple example there. First of all, we have a message. The message says, please transfer $1 million from my Swiss account, not so, but it is written <coughs> not so from left to right okay so without changing anything and uh, without the, the, this, there's no change yet there now that is a clear text okay so what we want is to build a cipher text from a clear text out here so now here okay so we have please transfer one million dollars from my Swiss bank account, okay? The account number, of course, is 622. At the end there, you discover that the message ends uh, here, not So the last two, the last four letters are just the redundant letters that are there to fill up the matrix side. Okay, all right. So, are we all able to see the clear message? Yes. We are able to see the clear message. So let's move on then. Uh, <coughs> after that, then you decide to come up with 
a key. Now, a key can be in two formats. Are we together? Either you use numbers or you can use letters. They all work the same. Are we together? They all work the same. They're just pointing you to the same thing. So now, to I cannot use numbers if I'm dealing with someone who knows, who's, who's somewhat uh, familiar with cryptography and all that, because I know they will know what, what you're talking about. Okay? So I can't send seven, four, two, two, and up to, up to six there, or send it to him. He will know, okay, probably this is the order of the matrix. Not so. So instead, I'll use letters. Okay? So let us, someone has to think, okay, from let us, okay, I, I, I don't know what is this, okay, this is just a message, mega band. Others will think that is the actual message, when actually that is the key. So what is happening here is this. What is happening there is this. That you want to transform the clear text into a cipher text in a certain order. Now remember, we are ordering. How together? We are ordering the clear text. Okay. So we, we are trans. I don't know if it's transfusing or you, you know you, you get this one you put there, there, but in a ordinary manner, so that the one who receives the message will be able to order. How together? Will be able to reverse. Okay. The order. Now let's 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 be slow. And if I'll be fast, you tell me I slow down. Okay. So now. We use megabyte. Why are we using megabyte? We are using megabyte because we want to tell someone that the, the first column that I got from the clear text is under A. Out together? Out together? Yes. Okay, so we get under A, that is uh, whatever it means there. You can't, you can't actually make any sense of it. But there's A, then there's 1 down there. You see that? So that is, and then you get that and write it in a straight line. You get the column and write it in a straight line. Now I don't have a marker so it's, it's somewhat difficult but hopefully you are getting the number there. So you get all the letters under A and you write them. So these are the letters you are, you are seeing here. Okay. First of all there is a blue text here but let's concentrate on the other text. So there is A, F, L, L, L. That is A, F, L, L, up to O, up to O there. How many of us can see that? All of us can see that. How many of us can't see, maybe? Let's, let's say, how many of us can't see? <coughs> you can't, okay? Who else? Okay? Now, to make life easy, I'll ask another one who understands to explain. Okay? A fellow student explains it. Yes. Kindly pay attention. Mm. Why are we getting letters under A? Because A is the list of Okay. Yes. So you get those which are under A which are under Are you sure they're getting? Are you getting a bit of a sophisticated? He's saying that you should get the letters which are under A. Okay. Okay. Now you're going to discover that the columns are of the same length. Not so. Columns are of the same length. That's why we've included those redundant numbers A, B, C, D. Otherwise, they are going to be of different lengths. Not so. All right. So now we get that one. We write. So we go to the next letter in the alphabet from A. From A, using that key there. What is the next letter? B. B. So we get again the column under B and write it next to the letters that we wrote. Now, obviously, I'm going to discover that already it's something that the person can't read really so far. Also. So you continue again from B. What is the next letter in that? Again, you get under C and three, not so. Get the letters, put, reorder them. Just like that, up to the very end. Now, is that difficult to do? So you see, cryptography is very easy, not so. All you need is just to remember your special paper too. Logic. Hey, think fast, okay? All right? And then you'll be able to see the answers, okay? All right. So, um, after having done that, 
you send the key megabank or the numbers the, that stream of numbers to the receiver and then you also send the cipher text how to get now uh class rep, i think we still need a we, we need a mark hey you need to do a bit of writing not yes yes okay uh wh where are you going to get it from from the class from my office I'll uh, so be able to find someone. You know where they are? Okay, good. You just run. We'll wait for you. Yes, what was the question? Okay, so now, it depends on how you want to transmit them. It can be any order. Okay? It can be any order. All right, so it depends on how you want someone to. It, it's an issue of you telling the receiver how to record that numbers, the order that they should follow. Okay, yeah, so it, it can be come up with anything. Okay, you can just come up with anything. So you can start from this side, anything, provided at the end of the day, at the end of the day, you come up with something. Remember, you are creating a key. You don't want to confuse the receiver. Otherwise, the receiver will be confused. Okay? Yeah, so look for a key that just has one. Because look, it will just be one, two, three. You're not going to have two, two, three, three. No, no, no. Just one. Okay. Yeah. The two A's. How did you solve that? Three A's. How did you solve that? <laughs> okay, so the first A should be the first A. Like M, M, A. Or the first M should be the first M. The first A should be the first A. Okay. Then after the competition, <coughs> then the A that's uh, C I A to be the second. Okay. Okay, that, that's interesting. But it's uh it's easier to track it. and it's easier to confuse. So we are not discussing it. Okay. Okay, but we can't. No, 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 no. Let's say no. Okay, but for your research, you can, you can do that. Okay? We don't want to 
great and necessary for people. Usually, yeah, single letters. Okay, single letters. Yeah, single letters. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> people are, are, are thinking about the past. <laughs> yes, I saw another hand. Is it? Yes. Okay, we move on. Great. Um, Poloko, sir? Yeah, good. At least I'm knowing people. Okay. All right, so we move on. No, sir. Don't move it, sir. What if, sir, like, there are two A's, as she said? Now, which one should you dispose of, or should you use both of them? No, no, no. What, did you say dispose? No. Okay, so she, she is saying you use the, the first A as, so Which let's one? say, let's say you have, uh, what letter, not mathematician, but what key can you use? That has two letters. Come again? Come again? P? King P. Oh, please, 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 as how many? Please. Yes. Oh, I get you. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So I thought you you meant double E. Oh, okay. So in this case, in this case. Since you've talked about it, yeah. since you've talked about it, it's okay. Just expect anything. Okay. After it's not something that is complicated, is it? No, it's not complicated. Okay. Is that is that someone who's behind on this again? Where we have two or three letters. So you just say the one on the left most is the one that follows, and then you start going this again. So if you have five keys, so you start with the first key, right one. Second E two until they finish, you go to D or X and then you move on. Eh? Okay. All right. Yes. Yes. Remember, we have to follow the alphabet. Yes. So if if we skip one E and go to S or P, then we will not come, will not come back to E, because we have passed that according to the alphabet. Not, yeah, so let's make sure that within that range of alphabet, we are done. Yes? So we move on. Now, people are learning to pass. No. We don't learn to pass, right? Mm -hmm. We learn to know. I don't pass. Yeah, but students are always like that. <laughs> yeah. Okay? Yes. Yeah. So if you if you look at James Soko, James Soko is not learning to pass. Okay? He's, he was learning to know and it's, it's, it's good, practical. Of course, obviously you know that you're going to stop all this theory thing. Or be going to the lab, eh? Yes. Obviously you know that, eh? They told you? No, oh, they haven't told you, your friends. So practical he was the best man. Okay? We'll leave this place. Once we finish, throw away all the books. He's sweating in the lab. Okay. 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 Yes. Now I'm not scaring you, it's interesting. Okay? Because your program is a practical program, right? So make sure that you carry all this theory that you'll be learning. Put them in your head and then sit in front of the computer, okay? And then do the, the need. Okay. So let's move on. Let's look at an example. Just a, yes. a question, sir. Mm -hmm. So let's say I encrypt that message. Mm -hmm. And uh, for this one to read it, I have to send uh, <coughs> the key and the cipher. 
second text together mm -hmm. so that you can decrypt it. Mm -hmm. you, you can either send it together, you can send it separately, provided. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yeah. But you see, um, <coughs> it is, it's better you use different channels eh, for transmitting the, me the message and the key. How to get? You can meet my friend, this is the key we'll be using, so that you are sure that it's only him who has access to the key. How to get? If you send together, if in case someone gets both of them, it's easier for someone to interpret this. Not, it's, it's very, very easy for someone to interpret this. Okay? So better you send the key alone and you send the message out in, using different channels. Yeah. All right. So we move on. Um, oh, before we look at that example, the other type of transposition, columnar transposition, is where you don't use a key. How do you get that? But instead, you just send the message in the matrix, and then someone will be able to respond. Mm -hmm. And that's an engineer. The easier part. So it's extremely easy because you just look at the message and then. Just the record. Okay. Now that's a one, two, three, four, four by eight. Mm -hmm. Not so good. Is it a eight by four? It's eight by four by eight. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's four by eight. Mm -hmm. okay. How many rows are there? Eight. Eight by four. Thirty two. Not so good. Am I wrong? Yeah, let me. Yeah. Oh, so it's a, it's a 10 by 5. Okay. Okay, fine. Fine. Now let's do this. It's a 10 by 5 matrix. Eh? So now, you, you get what you send is not a clear message. Remember, we are trying to transpose. Okay, so we are trying to change the matrix into a different matrix. It's the same matrix, but just change the letters and throw them around. Now, you have a 10 by 5 matrix, a message with a 10 by 5. And then what you do is you get the row, the first row. You get the first row, which is this, this I. Not so. You transform it into a column. No. 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 You get the first row. When, who doesn't know a row here? First of all? Like this, the one which goes like this. <laughs> On top. I. That's a row, eh? You get it and then go to your cipher text uh, matrix, turn it like this. So this will go like that. How do you get that? So that is what you're seeing the the uh, how is it like? Okay. Okay. How is it? Is it like this? Wait, 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 wait. Okay. You get that. How is it that? Column. You get the column. So you, it's the column that you get. Eh? Yes. Oh, okay. So, okay. Okay. So you get the column, and then now the column is ten. The column is ten. So you break it into five, five. But other ways, but okay, this one they, they started with the column, but you can also start with that and bring this side. Eh? Okay, so this one they start with a column and then bring it this way. Now, if it comes this way, it's going to have 10 letters. Yeah, yes, yes. Now you break it in half. So you get the other five, you bring them down. Eh? That's what they've done. Not yes. So then they put in this column and then converted it into two rows. I get you go to the next column, you break it into half and then put two, two columns, two rows, just like that, and to the last column, break it into half and then do like that. Now, what what we're doing here is we are just transporting. So if you, you can you can go this way, you can go that way. It depends, but you have to agree with your the recipient time in advance. Okay, so that's the only key you are using there. To know how you are going to get it. Are we together? Yes. Yes, I want to be asked. Yes, yes. I'm a little bit behind. Uh -huh. So, 
let's say I'm given a print text, uh -huh. and then before I break it into rows and columns, so how will I know that uh, I have to break the letters of this word into, let's say, the color, the, the row itself should consist of, let's say, five letters. Come again. Come again. How are you supposed to know? Yes, how am I supposed to know that I have to break the, <coughs> the letters of the, of the word into, let's say, five uh, columns of the law? Okay, so the matrix again, it depends on what you want. I think I answered this question, eh? Yes. Matrix depends on what you want. You can use, uh, now, the easiest for you. Remember, we have, you saw the whole we are breaking? Yes. Okay. So use things like 6 by 3, 8 by 4, 10 by 5. Have you, have you seen the order? Now, if, if, if you use, you can also use 9 by 3 because you know that you can break the, the 9 into 3 rows, not the 9 letters of a column. You can break it into 3, 3, 3, 3. Uh, okay, so use, it's up to you it's up to, me to, to, to decide, the two of you to decide, okay? What, what am I using? Is it 12 by 4 or 12 by 4? You get something that you can easily divide into, okay? Something that is divisible by the other number. So 10 and 5, 5 can go there, you can break in short. Something you can easily break, okay? You can even use a square. If you want four by four, two by two, and all that, okay? Because you know that four can go into four words, so <coughs> there's no hassle. Twenty-five right? by five. If it's, if the message is large, okay. If the message is large, okay. So is it clear? But then you have to agree with. Remember, you agree with the person that is. You, you agree about the key in advance. That's the way. Uh, this this works, okay? Right. Okay. All right. But sometimes with experience, even if you don't agree, someone will just be able to look at the message and say, "Oh, okay, okay." So this one, I'll be able to do this, okay? All right. Any any other question? Yeah, that's from the easier part of the school. matrix you are using is 
in clear text should be the matrix you are using in cipher text. Okay. So let's, let's, let's take an example. Let's take an example. We had uh, five columns, not so, and eleven rows. Are we together? What should we do? Okay. So we are going to get the eleven and break into four into five, five, there will be one remaining, not so? So you, you write it on under the, the next row and it will just be alone in the next row. I don't know if you've forgotten it. Okay. So the next one is going to start from where that one has ended. So that you maintain the matrix. The same, the same as so, no other words, we are saying we maintain. There's a very good question. Okay. I've heard someone like Shazen. <coughs> so, we are saying if what if we have five? Five columns and 11 rows. Now, remember, this one is the easier part. Not I say, I was saying, use something that you can easily divide. Eh? Yes. Five, four, I mean, five by ten and all that. But Let's say we have even five columns, twelve rows. Okay? How should we do it? How can we break it? Okay. Now our question is on having five rows, five columns and eleven rows. So you get the eleven letters. Now remember, since we have a eleven by five, so meaning we have to break this. 11 to fit into our new cipher text. Our new cipher text should be exactly as the clear text. How do you get it? Okay. So now, since it should be the same, it has to fit into the matrix. Our cipher text should fit into the same matrix. So we have the first five letters, you chop them, create a what? A row, not so. The next five, and then I'm going to have one letter remaining. Push it to the next row. Push it to the next row. Okay? When you start again, you have to start from where the letter is starting. Remember, it has to be spread through. Okay? So again, you start whatever remains again, the next row, until it is going to end up with the same matrix as the server text. How to get up? People are eager to pass, I can see. Okay? Okay? It's, it's good. Now, let's do an example. Okay? Let's quickly open our books. Do an example. Okay? Let's do that example. Just want to make sure we understand. We're supposed to
How many of us have difficulties? How many of us have difficulties? Please, be honest because you will be right in the test. Yes? Okay. okay. Uh, I'm watching for you to finish. How many have been finished? I can see one. Okay, this one for the finish. Let me
Thank you, sir. Transposition or columnar transposition uh, matrix that is used. I'm talking. We've used one with a key that specifies that either use numbers or use letters, but obviously, you don't expect me to give you numbers as a key because that would be too simple. First, I expect you to decode the key. Okay? I'll give you a very difficult key and then convert it to, to numbers and all that. So, that's the one we've used. The other one is this one where you don't need to. The only key is for you to know the matrix. It's 8 by 4 or 10 by 5 or. Okay? That's the only key for you to know. So, if, if I gave you a message like this, obviously, again, I cannot come here and give you a clear message in form of a matrix like this. No. I'll just give you a story. A paragraph. <laughs> okay? I'll, and then I'll just give you a hint. Okay. Use a 10 by 5 or what by, and then so that you waste time. It's not difficult, but I want you not to finish. <laughs> All together. It's, it's easy, but I, I know it's easy, they can answer it. But uh, I'll make sure you spend, well, instead of spending 5 minutes, 20 minutes, you spend 20 minutes. First, you order it into a matrix. It's simple, but times. Okay? I'll make sure that you don't do it, you don't finish because of time. Okay? So, my exams are usually easy, but the only people that finish are those that are very fast. They are very easy. If you look at the questions, it's simple, simple, but I give you, can you answer? You only answer half the exam. Because I don't want you to get an A. Okay? <laughs> but I want you to pass. But not an A. <laughs> but those that get A's are those that are very fast. So all my exams are very simple. But if you are slow, ah, then, yeah. If you are slow in writing, okay, then you won't be able to finish. Okay, so I'm giving you hints. These are very genuine hints. So just take on your speed. So you don't expect me to give you a simple example like this, or a simple question like this. No, no, no. You expect half a paragraph, and then 
Yeah, I'll give you a key or I don't give you a key, but I'll tell you whether it's like this or the other with the key. And then you start wasting time working on it. Then, yeah. Okay? So practice on your speech if you are to get an A in my course. Okay? Practice on your speech. On everything, whether I hear theory or the practice that we'll be doing, it's speech. They are very simple. They are all simple. Everything that I teach is simple. But your speech. Okay? So we end here today, no peace. Those of you that came prepared for the quiz, um, reserve the energy for tomorrow, maybe, okay? Let me finish this, okay? I'll give you back. So, my friend, before you move, we have to move out. So come and get the things.